In this video, I'm going to talk about how to play with the metronome and why you should be playing with the metronome as soon as possible. So, first of all, I have a metronome ready. Um, I'm using my phone, and there's a really good free app on the phone, on the iPhone, that you can get called Pro Metronome. And um, it lets you accent certain beats and do a lot of different things that you can't normally do with a regular analog um, metronome. So, I've got the metronome, put it to 150, and all we're going to be doing is playing an alternating thumb roll. So, third string, second string, fifth, first. So set the metronome and push play. What you're going to be doing is you're going to be playing every single note with a click. So every note of the alternating thumb roll is going to be exactly lined up with the metronome. That's the first step in this little method that I've put together of metronome practice. And the second thing you're going to do, once you feel really good about that, we'll do it in a little bit, you can play along with me, um, is you do half of that tempo. So you're going to do 75. Set the metronome, push play, and you're going to be playing the exact same thing. So what we played with before were eight notes, and now the metronome is clicking on the quarter note. So you're going to play the same tempo, same duration of time. clicking every two beats, uh, every two um, notes that I'm playing. It's the same exact tempo and the, the idea of this is to train yourself to start playing and listening to yourself while also playing with another object or another person. Eventually you want to play with another person or recording or something. Obviously that's the point of playing music is play and have fun with people. So you're training yourself, your ears to lock in with something else other than what you're hearing from your instrument, which is a really essential skill to have when playing with other people. Um, once you feel good about that on the downbeats, on the click, 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 you're going to switch the beat so it's on the off beats. And it's going to sound like this. The same thing that I was doing before, but you're going to be feeling it in a different way. So you're going to be lining up with the metronome on the second and fourth beat, on the second and fourth beats of the um, of the pattern, or second and fourth notes of the pattern. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And it's almost simulating a mandolin chop. So a mandolin chops on the offbeat in the bluegrass band. So that's what you want to be feeling in this exercise. Once you feel good about that, so you, you're playing all of them, you feel good about like the tempo, um, you're locked in, you want to try a song. So let's try a song. I'll play it at 150 first, so reset the metronome to 150, and I'm going to play Cripple Creek for you with the metronome. One, two. Start to do backup, and I recommend when you learn a song, 
that you take the song and first get really comfortable with the melody and then start to do it with the metronome. Do this thing, do the 150, 75 on the downbeats, 75 on the offbeats, and then start to do the backup, play the chords with the metronome doing that too. You'll find that your rhythmic feel will be a lot more solid and it'll be easier to play with other people, which is a good thing. Um, so play with the metronome every single day. Try to bring this practice into your everyday practice routine. And it doesn't have to be very long, you know, you can do it for five or ten minutes even. But the more that you play with the metronome, the more you're going to like develop your internal clock. And that's a really huge advantage that you'll have over all the musicians that aren't necessarily looking at playing with a metronome as a good thing or as like a priority. It's, it should be a priority in your playing because the more of an internal clock you have and the more rhythmic foundation you have, the more people are going to want to play with you. You'll be a better backup player, you'll be a better improviser, um, you'll just be an all around better musician and you'll be able to get to that master status of, of uh, musicianship a lot faster and a lot easier. So. Thanks for watching this video, and if you have any questions or if you want to comment on how this process is going for you, please leave it in the comment section, um, and don't forget to subscribe.